Okay, so let's discuss the pull-out method. Now, before I start, let me just say I'm not a physician or a doctor. Uh, these are my personal experiences. I'm not a professional, and I'm nor, nor am I an expert. You need to do your own research, and you need to learn your own fucking body before you start to try to implement these techniques. Okay, don't come at me telling me something, yo, Gary, you said this would work, and it didn't, and trying to sue a nigga, because I'm going to just say, look, I didn't say all that shit. I said, do this at your own fucking risk, okay? So, here we go. The pull-out max fit is very effective if you do it properly, okay? It's very easy to fuck up the pull-out method. Um, based on Planned Parenthood, out of 100 women, only four will actually get pregnant by the pull-out method. That's a 96% 96, 96 effective rate, which is very fucking high, okay? I don't recommend you use the pull-out method with somebody that you're not interested in being a parent with. Um, if you don't want to be a parent with her, I recommend you use a condom, spermicide, birth control, some other form in on top of the pull-out method in order to make sure she doesn't get impregnated. But... I know mother you I know motherfuckers are going to go in raw and take chances. They're going to take risks. So I'm going to do the best very best I can to assist you in being dumb and doing stupid shit where you don't fuck up your life. Okay? So again, another video contributing to the cause. The pull-out method is effective, the most effective before you've had your first orgasm. I'm going to repeat that. The pull-out method is mostly effective before you've had your first uh, orgasm. Now, reason why my battery is about to die. I'm um, going to try to be quick. The reason why is because the pull-out method only works if there's no sperm that enters the female's vagina. A lot of people, I've heard this before, they will use a condom on the first shot and then... They won't use a condom on the second one and then wonder why she got pregnant after using the pull-out method. Well, here's the reason. Pre-cum does not hold sperm. Okay? The only reason why pre-cum can impregnate a woman is because you had sperm left in your urethra. When you pre-cummed, it pushed the semen or the sperm out into the female. This happens after the first ejaculation. That's why I said it's most effective before the first orgasm. Uh, they say that if you have a strong pee um, after your orgasm or your first exact ejaculation, you can then go ahead and have sex again without most without risk of impregnating the woman because it would clean out your urethra and shit like that. I don't recommend you do that, but um, that's what they claim. Okay, um, I have done that before and I've never had a scare once. You know, I'll go pee and I say, "All right, let's we want to fuck again." So let me go pee. I'll be right back. I come back. We get it in. We have a good time. No scares. Not even. Not even a small. Not even a, a miss period or whatever. So nothing. So the pull-out method can be effective if you do it properly. Now, here's where people fuck up. Because now you know the facts. You know that the first one is the best one because your, your urethra is, is clear steam of sperm. And that you run more risk of getting her pregnant if you go after the first orgasm. Because you might have residue left into your urethra. So we got the facts now. Now you have to learn your body okay the reason why most people fuck up is because they pull out right after they shoot their first load okay your first nut before when your body actually clenches up and have that first contraction that's your most potent amount of semen and it shoots out like that so if you're pulling out while you're nutting you already got her pregnant. I mean, well, you didn't get pregnant, but you've already shot in and you might as well continue. Okay. Because that's the biggest volume of sperm or semen, I should say, that comes out. So you want to make sure you pull out before you nut. Now, how do you learn your body well enough? You have to masturbate. 
And you have to masturbate a lot. You have to get, like I would say, get like a, a, a pocket pussy or a fleshlight or something to that nature and practice pulling out before you automatically, or before you come. Practice doing that. And I would say you should practice this for at least, at least, at least 50 ejaculations, at least, just to get good at pulling out. Um, because if you are one of those guys who come inside your pocket pile or your vagina or what your fake vagina or your flashlight a lot, it's going to be difficult for you to, to stop pull doing that. You're going to continue doing that. So you're going to have to learn how to pull out and get used to jerking it off in order to finish your, your, your orgasm. Um, because there's some weird thing that happens to our body where we just seeds up when we're coming. So you need to learn how to pull out just in enough time before you shoot your first, you know, load. Okay. So I highly recommend you train with that. Train your ass off at least 50 ejaculations before you start trying this with a girl. And even if you do try this with a girl, there's nothing wrong with going down to um, to, um, CVS or Walmart or Walgreens and getting some spermicide. If you don't want to use condoms, go get some spermicide and that will be... A barrier just in case you do not pull out. Okay, so yes, the pull out method can be very effective. You just got to learn your body and you need to know the facts. All right, that's my video.